What's up guys, back in another Honkai Star Road video, and in today's video we are gonna talk about the state of 4 star characters and 4 star light cones. So, if you are new to Star Rail or, you know, just gacha games in general, or maybe you've played gacha games a lot, you will know that there are different rarities when it comes to characters or whatever you're stopping for, right? Generally speaking, the characters with the higher number rarity or the more stars or, you know, there's SRs, SSRs, URs, all that kind of stuff. Normally, the characters with the higher rarity are really good and the characters with the lower rarity are not used at all. However, if you are a fan of Genshin, you'll probably not be surprised by this, but in Honkai, the four star characters are actually extremely, extremely good. There are some bad ones, like obviously, you know, I'll use Herda as an example. Herda is not the most amazing unit I've ever seen, but other characters like Donhang, one of the best single target DPSs in the game, and he's free on top of the fact that he's a four star. Obviously, you're going to want more dupes in him, so you'd have to summon, but it's just crazy the value of four stars in this game. I want to make this video because going forward, Yukong is another four star. Um, it's not officially shown what she does, and I'm not going to talk about leaks, as always, but I'm expecting her to be really good as well, as we have just a good assortment of four stars, like March 7th is good, Don Hang is good, Asta is good, Servo's good, Natasha is good, like, I feel like the only bad four stars on here are probably like Arlen, Herda, and, um, Ching, Queen, Ching, I'm I'm bad. I, I'll, I'm gonna look up how to pronounce her name because I've actually one of the hardest names to pronounce for me, honestly. But anyway, character next to Hook and Ting Yun. Probably the only four stars I'd say that are like bad at the moment. I guess Sampo is not like that crazy, but regardless of that, the four stars in this game are extremely, extremely good. And I know like the five stars are also really good, but you know that you can't go wrong with the four stars if you only have if you had every single four star in the game and no five stars you would still be able to clear content note that as of right now a lot of people are level capped so obviously when you're like oh hey i beat you know forgotten hall or i beat simulated universe with like you know this crazy like i have welt um like bronia clara all this kind of crazy stuff obviously that's a bit different but at the end of the day, once your characters are built up, I'm sure the four star teams can easily, easily clear any content in the game. They're just such high value, especially since like Don Hang has more DPS from like single targets than some five stars. I not too sure. I believe the YouTuber Grim has a website slash like a group that go over units, and I think Don Hang was ranked second at certain constellations. Or sorry. Um, Eidolons, there we go. And I know Sushang was also ranked very high. Servo was extremely high for the three or more enemies, DPSs for like other AoE units. So the four stars on, in this game aren't bad. And that also transfers over to light cones. Fun fact, I did not know this, very sad. But sword play, I believe it is somewhere on this list. Do, 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 sword play, I'm missing it. This one, okay. This one right here. The one with Sushing on it is extremely good and is one of the best hunt light cones there is. Obviously, the five star light cones are going to be really good as well. Obviously, I'm not saying, oh yeah, you'll never use a five star light cone, you'll never use a five star character, but the four star ones get the job done. They're really good. I actually really want this one at some point. I think it'll be the best in slot for whatever tank you have on Kafka's team. Um, I use this one right now on my healer. I have not this one, but I think this, yeah, this one on Sampo on my team. Oh, let me scroll a little bit more. Um, I know the silence remains. It's not the greatest, but it's still pretty good. I have this one on one of my defense units. In fact, I actually have a three star on uh, Jeopard. Where is it? The the name of it is giving Amber, right? It just raises defense. Nothing too crazy. Even the three stars are useful. I guess crazy how 
I wouldn't say free to play friendly currency wise, but free to play friendly as in the value of the easier to summon slash free light cone slash characters. The, the value is just insane. I think that Genshin along with Honkai Star Rail has one of the best value for non max rarity characters slash items. In other gacha games, I'm gonna use Doka as an example. I don't think there's a single SR you'd ever use. You have to use SSRs and LRs, which are the higher rarities from summoning. LRs came later. They're 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 like five star version is like SSRs basically. Um, but yeah, even some of those are useless in that game. No SR or rare is used, and I just think it's so insanely valuable that Star Rail has so many usable four stars. I know. You're not always gonna get a character like if you're chasing like let's say there's a banner and hat it's a uh, march don hang sampo and you really want don hang there's a good chance you could pull multiple five stars before you ever get a don hang but he is still easier to pull so i wouldn't say fully free to play but you know it is still really easy to pull these characters and they're just so so high value and i'm very excited going forward to see what yukon does and how good she'll be Hopefully she's not bad. And I'm also looking forward to future four stars. Very excited to see how good they are. I'm sure we're going to see teams with at least one four star going forward regardless. Unless yeah, there's just so many five stars at the point where everyone's running all five stars. I think four stars will always have a place as a meta for whatever they have or a good fill in option. But other than that, let me know what your thoughts on four stars for characters and four star for light cones are in star rail as you know my opinion i'm very 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 pleased with how they're kept power scaling wise and usability wise but let me know what your thoughts on the four stars are let me know what your favorite four star character is if i had to pick i'd probably say sushang but i'm also biased because she is my main dps and i do like the chicken ult a lot it is probably one of my favorite ults i didn't like it at first but it did grow on me, I'm not gonna lie. I'm also a big fan of Asta, even if I don't use her too much. But anyway, let me know what your favorite four star is in the comments. And you know, while you're at it, what's your favorite light cone? It could be art wise, it could be usability wise, whatever it may be. I think the four star light cones are very cool. The art in them is very, very nice. There's also some lore implications with some of them, which I think is very, very cool. But yeah, favorite character, favorite like comment, whatever it be, let me know in the comments. And of course, don't forget to like, subscribe for more Star Wars content. I will probably make a four star tier list, character and like on wise, so, um, what soon, I think. And I will also be going over the next banner, which is Jun Yun. I'll su be summoning on him, I'll be doing, you know, should you summon, who's better between him and Zeely, like on all that good stuff, so don't miss it. Don't forget to subscribe, and of course, I'll catch you in the next Star Wars video.